New details are emerging about who pulled the strings behind the scenes in the House Freedom Caucus now that Congressman Paul Ryan has received enough support to secure his nomination for House Speaker. On America's Matt Chuck has more from Washington. In the race for Speaker, the House Freedom Caucus had one goal in mind, get rid of John Boehner. While they succeeded on that front, the small but fierce group of conservatives scrambled to find a nominee that would satisfy their list of demands and rule changes to the Republican conference. The group had initially endorsed Florida Representative Daniel Webster until a behind-closed-door meeting pushed them into supporting Congressman Paul Ryan, a person that they saw as only an extension of John Boehner. Capitol Hill conservatives want to know what happened to change their minds. Texas Congressman Louis Gomer told One America News that they were pressured by some very familiar names. Promises were made, and as I understand it, um, our friend Senator Jim DeMint, uh, now head of the Heritage Foundation, was making calls, persuading, uh, really shocked me. Um, I, I don't guess I was so surprised that Newt Gingrich was making calls behind the scenes to Freedom caucus members to telling them you got to cave and go with Paul. While the vote fell short of the majority required for the House Freedom Caucus to deliver an official endorsement, it did provide the party unity that Congressman Paul Ryan initially set as a condition for accepting the nomination. Congressman Louis Gomer tells One America News what shocked him the most. I was really surprised that the head of the Heritage Foundation, Jim DeMint, was making calls telling conservatives to back off their conservatism and back the guy for speaker that doesn't just have a D, he has an F under the conservative review analysis. The election for House Speaker is set for Wednesday, October 28th. The Republican conference will meet behind closed doors, and it is all but certain that Paul Ryan will walk away with a position he said he never wanted. Matt Shuck, One America News, Washington.